we came back and we really literally had to tear it all apart and and clean it out and you know i threw away a lot of beer a lot of uh we had to return kegs right now on the news at four o'clock help is on the way for some local businesses as part of that new covid relief bill plus Health officials today started vaccinating a new round of people. We're taking a look at the rollout in our long-term care facilities. First on this Monday, a milestone we hoped to never hit. Arizona records more than half a million coronavirus cases since the start of this pandemic. Thanks for joining us today. Yetta and Nicole have the day off. I'm Jared Dillingham. The state health department is reporting 10,000 new cases just today, pushing us well past that 500,000 mark for the year. Here's a closer look at today's numbers. The new case count is surprisingly high because we usually see a lag in reporting on Mondays. In the past week, we've seen a rise in the percentage of tests coming back positive. In the last full week, test positivity averaged 23%. And we still have well over 5,000 COVID patients in our hospitals. That is more than ever before. If you have a parent or grandparent in a long-term care facility in Arizona, expect them to get a COVID vaccine as soon as this week. Today, CVS healthcare workers began showing up on site to administer those shots to both residents and staff.